that torque, boy. CP2, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Woo! You know, just recently bought this, a brand new 2024 KTM 690 SMCR. I also own a 2022 Yamaha MT-07 and a 2019 YZ450FX Custom Supermoto. Um, but some of you guys asked me, you said Cycle Cruiser, you know, how is this, this 690 versus the Yamaha MT-07 you have? So I'm going to cover that in this video and give you the real truth on whether you should get an MT-07 or the 690. <laughs> Subscribe today. If you want to get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, all of my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section. Seriously, the more I ride this bike, the more I'm falling in love with this bike. I'm falling in love with this bike, and it's only in stock form, guys. So I know when I mod this bike, I'm going to fall in love even more with this bike. I, Honestly, I am sick right now that I did not buy this bike years ago. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did, but I'm kind of glad I did because they've worked out some issues over the years. Uh, and I got a sick deal. I've never seen a deal on these bikes where you could get 2000 off. I don't know how in the heck it happened. Maybe because the economy slowed down. People don't have the money to buy them now or something. But these bikes have always been sold out. I've never seen these bikes on the showroom floor ever and i that was a when i went last time to the dealership that was the very first time that i saw a, 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 a 690 supermoto in person ever um they just don't keep them in stock because they're very popular man but and i got two thousand off on the brand new one i that that is amazing the the power numbers on this bike versus the mtl7 you know this has a 693 cc uh, single cylinder engine and the, uh, the MT-07 is what, 698 or something like that? Oh man, that, oh my, this thing just cooks. <laughs> oh, the MT-07 hits hard too. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, both bikes have the same, pretty much the same horsepower and torque numbers on the dyno, uh, oddly enough. Um, both of them are sitting at about 68, 67 horsepower and like 46 or 7 or something like that pounds feet of torque or 48, whatever, somewhere in that range. And <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys that the power is, is similar, but it seems like the MT-07, I will say, it seems like in stock form, I'm comparing stock to stock, okay, because this is still 100% stock. Um, you know, my MT-07 in stock form... Uh, the torque. Oh, this thing, <laughs> this thing cooks, man. The torque feels, the, the bottom end torque on the MTL 7 feels a little bit more stout in stock form. A little bit more. This is no slouch. Don't get me wrong, guys. This is a very fun bike right out of the box. But the MTL 7 just seems like it has a little bit more bump uh, in stock form off the line. But they say when you mod this bike, that it opens it up. You put a Rottweiler air box on there, full exhaust, power commander with a proper tune. It really opens this bike up and it's crazy, they say. So I look forward to doing that. Um, and you know, I did mod the MTL7. I flashed the, uh, the, the ECU. I put on a full exhaust, a crop of its exhaust. And um, I did some, mod a lot. I did the build, go check out my MTL7 build series, top right corner. And uh, if you want to go check it out, um, but that bike, it, it improved it somewhat, but it, it was already good in stock form, really, with the MTL7. But it really, it was more about uh, enhancing the sound on the MTL7. Uh, and man, I'll tell you guys, is that, that that's a beautiful sound on the MTL7. <laughs> now, I have to say, sound versus uh, stock sound versus stock sound, they're both about equal, because both of them sound like scooters, okay? But the MTL7, you put a Kropovich on that bad boy exhaust, uh, that thing is sick. <laughs> it, it sounds so, it sounds like a Harley to me, man. Listen to this, guys. This bike, we'll see what it sounds like, but... 
but but uh this thing cooks man it, <laughs> this this induces all kinds of smiles boy this thing cooks in stock form is it's fun but wait till i mod it this thing is gonna be so sick oh my god man but the uh you single cylinder sound even if you put a proper exhaust it sounds like you know it's not gonna sound nothing like the uh like the intel 7 that that you know with that twin engine honestly the the single cylinders i don't really need to have a crazy enhance i i, I just need to have some sound but it ain't gonna sound as good as a, a, a two-cylinder you know what i'm saying it just ain't happening jack so if you're looking for something with the, this you, amazing sound you probably want to go to the mtl7 but if you want something that's going to be extremely fun that you can do more with that's more versatile then you want this bike all day every day boy every day even though this is more much more expensive than the mtl7 mtl7 i got I, what did i pay i don't know ten thousand nine thousand or something like nine thousand i think uh out the door or whatever this bike uh i paid 12 12 6 but i got a sick deal i got a couple about 2500 off that you normally would pay <laughs> Dang this boy, this dang this thing kicks. Woo! Oh my goodness, boy. The MTL7 kicks too though. But I'm telling you, this feels like a little bit because it's a lighter weight bike than the MTL7. It, it it kicks a little harder, man. Now that like I said, the MTL7 is more stout at the bottom end in stock versus stock. But man, both bikes are amazing bikes, don't get me wrong, man. But if you want to do a little bit of everything and you this bike can do it all. Lightweight adventure bike. You know, you could throw these around in the twisty. You could ride it off-road. You could do a little bit of everything with this bike. It's got even lower maintenance intervals than the MTL7. Every, you don't have to do oil changes for every 6,000 miles, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? MTL7, I think, what is it? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. Three, four, five thousand or something. But it ain't 6,000. But a lot of you guys are telling me, Cycle Cruising... Man, you need to change the oil well before that. I'm going by what KTM says, man. I'm, I'll probably change it more frequently. But you don't have to, according to KTM, okay? They know what they're talking about. They run their bikes through extensive tests, and this bike's been out long enough. They know how long you can go by with an oil, without an oil change. So I, I have to believe what they say when they say 6,000 mile oil change intervals. But anyways, the MTL7... Honestly, I'm thinking about selling it now, man. <laughs> I don't think I'll be riding it. This bike I can cruise on like the MTL7. Uh, but I can go do more fun with it, man. It's lighter weight than the MTL7. It's just, you can throw these little bikes around. It, it's just an amazing feeling bike. But the MTL7, I'll miss the sound, though. I'll miss that beautiful Harley Davidson-like sound <laughs> with that twin engine, man, you know. The CP2 engine, should I say. Um... Uh, that's that's what <laughs> I'm gonna miss that though, man. Um, even though these sound cool, though the single cylinder sound pretty cool, but nothing like the CP2, boy. Oh boy! <laughs> Woo! This bike cooks, boy. Oh man! I tell you, I, when I get a new bike, I ride it like I stole it, boy. I don't do none of that break-in schedule they tell me about. But I hope I, I hope I don't have no problems with this being a KTM, boy. But honestly, MTL7 versus this bike, guys, I'm leaning toward. I'm, I'm like this bike. Now, if you don't want to do any hooligan stuff, you're not, you're not gonna be doing messing around off-road. Uh, uh, you don't want to tour on the bike or anything like that. And you just want to do some city cruising and rip the throttle here and there, listen to a beautiful sound. Then, of course, the MTL7 will probably be maybe probably better suited for you. And it's cheaper if you don't have more money to pony up for this bike. The MTL7 is beautiful. You guys know it. I ain't even want to sell the bike. I love that little bike, man. But after riding this, this competes with the MTL7 now, man. I didn't think it would. But this bike competes with the MTL7. This for me right now, this bike is beating the MTL7, guys. Seriously. I think I'm going to probably sell the MTL7. <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't know what to say, boy. 
I mean, look at this right here, baby. Look at that. Oh. This thing is just so sick. That quick shifter. Da, 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 da. That quick shifter just, man, bang through those gears. This is so, <laughs> This bike feels good, boy. I'm getting real extra confident on this bike now, man. I'm feeling real good with this bike, baby. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Woo! Oh, yeah, baby. I love it. Oh, my gosh. And you don't need a steering uh, stabilizer on this bike either, man. I'm telling you, this bike is rock solid. Smooth as butter. Beautiful, baby. Feels good, baby. Yeah. KTM 690 SMC. Oh, baby. I'm telling you, I, I think I found a new love. I'm sorry, MTL7, baby. You have the audacity. Don't you ever. I'm sorry. But I think I got me a new lady now. <laughs> I got me a new baby now. MTL7, I'm sorry, baby, but this 690 is proper. Even more proper. MTL7 is beautiful and proper, but this is even more proper. Wait till I mod this bike. It's going to be so sick. It's going to be so sick, man. For those of you got the MTL7, sell that baby right now. Right now, baby. And get the 690 SMCR. Because it is a proper. Proper. I love this bike. I love this bike. Oh, I love this bike. Oh, you've been a sunshine in my life, baby. Sunshine in my life. Anyways, guys. I'm keeping it real with you guys. No BA. You know, I keep it real. This bike is legit, 100%, sick. But anyways, hit thumbs up, helps my channel, guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos release. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.